visual flight during the winter months presents different challenges to aviation than are found during the summer. Snow-covered ground and the low-lying sun make navigation difficult for any pilot, even in a familiar geographical area. What would normally be a simple, easily navigated flight during the summer can become complicated by the lack of distinct navigational reference points in the winter. Lakes, power lines and roads are key navigational features used by VFR pilots to help determine current location and heading. Once they're snow covered, they can be difficult to spot and may look completely different. Frozen snow covered lakes may appear like open fields and snow covered country roads may be easily confused with power line corridors. Crossing large snow covered lakes can present a significant challenge to VFR pilots. The featureless terrain of the lake can blend with an overcast sky and lead to the horizon disappearing and disorientation setting in. If you do need to cross a large snow-covered lake, it's a good idea to stick to the shoreline and reduce the chances of experiencing a whiteout condition. In the digital age, it's tempting to overutilize technology at the expense of proper pre-flight planning. For many pilots, GPS has become a tool of choice. Like many tools, it can either be used or abused. Over-reliance on GPS is dangerous and significantly decreases the pilot's situational awareness. Proper pre-flight planning is required any time you're departing on a flight. Go back to the basics you were taught during your initial flight training. Dead reckoning, the skill of using time, distance and heading to arrive at a waypoint, is accurate and reliable even when all other technology fails. If you do have a GPS aboard, use it to back up and confirm what you already know, not the other way around. When navigating, visually read map to ground and prove to yourself that you are where you think you are. Picking a spot on the ground and then trying to locate it on the map can lead to improperly determining your position and the possibility of straying off track, sometimes by many miles. If you do get lost, remember the five C's. Climb as high as you can for better ground visibility. Conserve. Slow the aircraft down to endurance speed to save fuel. Circle. Figure out where you are instead of flying blindly ahead. Confess to yourself that you're lost and get help from ATC. Comply. If ATC gives you instructions, follow them. They're there to help. Get help before you get into trouble. Asking for help may be a hit to your ego, but running out of fuel or entering restricted or controlled airspace is sure to be a lot worse. If operating around large bodies of water, remember that lake effect snow can appear quickly. Although the name streamer may sound like a small band of snow, the reality is that streamers can be quite large and intense, causing severely reduced visibility and the possibility of airframe icing. Finally, don't forget about the reduced daylight hours. Every year, pilots are caught unprepared. If you're not night rated, give yourself a significant margin plan to be on the ground at least one hour before sunset. Although it may be legal to fly up to 30 minutes past civil twilight, the visual landing cues that you're used to are not the same at twilight. Without being properly trained, you risk damaging your aircraft or worse, injuring yourself and your passengers. If you do find yourself running late and unable to make it to your chosen destination airport, divert as early as you can and make sure that you advise ATC or the responsible person that you left your flight notification with as soon as practical. Diverting to a different airport than you had planned is a much better decision than trying to fly at night without a night rating. Flying in the winter can be a great experience, but be sure to leave yourself lots of options. Perform thorough pre-flight planning, and if possible, carry extra fuel. Remember the adage, time to spare, go by air. Flying, particularly in the winter, isn't a race. Take your time and put safety first.